In this video, I go over five pieces of gear under $1,500 for DJs and producers. Find out which ones those are coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So the first item we have up is the Mixar's Quattro 4-channel club mixer for Serato DJ. Now this is Mixar's first 4-channel mixer as they've just had pretty much, you know, 2-channel battle style mixers in the past. This is also Serato DJ enabled and it also has two USB audio interfaces. So not only is this Mixar's first 4-channel mixer, but their first mixer with two audio interfaces as well. So switching over between different DJs is going to be a breeze with this mixer, much like you would find on a Rain 72 or a Pioneer DJ S9. So just with the flick of a toggle, you can switch between DJs seamlessly. Also on this mixer as well, you do get controls for each of the four decks in Serato DJ. So this is pretty much the only new four channel Serato DJ mixer that has these types of controls. None of the Pioneer DJ mixers that are compatible with Serato DJ have this kind of control. And it's kind of nice because the only option in the past was the older Rain mixers that were four channels. So it's nice to have another option besides those ones. Next up, we have the Pioneer DJ CDJ 900 Nexus. Now this is the latest version of Pioneer's 900 series players. So you get a lot of the nice functionality of the, you know, the higher end CDJ, such as a nicer color screen and things like that. But it's a little bit cheaper. You know, you're not paying over two grand for one player, but you don't have some of the other, you know, features like the actual tension adjust for the jog wheel and cue points, but you get a lot of features for this price. So if you're looking for a media player that still takes CDs, and has a nice color display and has pretty much all the features of the latest you know record box dj ecosystem kind of players you might want to look into this one the 900 nexus but if you're willing to go without the cd player i think this might be a better option this is the pioneer dj xdj 1000 mark ii so this takes pretty much the touchscreen interface that you get with the latest CDJ 2000 Nexus 2 players and implements it on a way cheaper format. So this is pretty much half the price of a 2000 Nexus 2 and you're getting, you know, a player that you can still use USB sticks and still use record box with and still get a lot of the same feel you would get with those higher end Pioneer players but for such a better price. So if you're not gonna be using CDs or you want an at-home setup that's not gonna break the bank, these uh, 1000 MK2s might be the choice for you. Now switching over to production, we have the Akai Pro MPC Live. Now this would be my choice of the two new standalone NPCs if I had to choose between this and the X. I like this form factor a lot better. Yeah, you don't get a lot of the, you know, the hardware controls that you would get with the MPC X, but the portability and the fact that it's battery powered so you can take this on the go. You don't have to worry about finding an outlet or anything like that. Just take this and some headphones and you know have your samples loaded on whatever kind of media you want to use to load them into this machine and you're good to go and you can create anywhere. I think that's a really awesome idea. I'm really glad that they went with this kind of route with this you know MPC Live. I like the MPC X. It's a huge, you know, behemoth of a machine at this point. It reminds me that reminds me a lot of the older MPCs like the 4000, but this is such a cool idea to have an MPC anywhere you go. You know, in the past you've had things like the, you know, the 404 and things like that where people have used those as standalone battery powered beat making machines. It's really nice to see it kind of taking a step in that direction for a lot of the producers that like to, you know, make beats on the go. And last but not least, we have the Moog Subsequent 37 Analog Synthesizer. Now, if you know anything about analog synthesis, you know Moog or Moog is probably one of the most prestigious companies and they make some killer analog gear. And this Subsequent 37 is no different. Now, this is a little bit more modern than the classic Model D, but still carries that classic, really thick analog sound that this brand is known for and the build quality is solid if you've ever held you know gear from Moog there's the sheer weight and the way everything feels just feels so professional and really reminds you of where they came from and they're still sticking to that level of quality in the products that they put out today 
So that's a look at five great pieces of gear under $1,500 for DJs and producers. If you're interested in purchasing any of those, links can be found down below in the description. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV, where you're going to find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.